Hello fellow Spare Parts Army, welcome to Task and Purpose where we have your military sit rep. I'm your host, Chris Cappy, a very average former Army infantryman. The infantry is finally getting smart goggles that have the same features as a heads up display from a video game. You can mark the location of enemies or pull up a 3D map that shows the location of your entire squad. You can switch to viewing straight from the point of view of the optic on your weapon for an entirely new way to shoot bad guys in the teeth. The system is called IVAS, but is it going to be more trouble than it's actually worth? All the past attempts at a heads up display for the ground pounders have failed spectacularly. They sent the second ID to Iraq with the last canceled version of the Future Warrior program in 2007, and that unit hated it because it was too heavy and it got in the way of completing the mission. I have to admit though, this new version is a huge step forward. They've gotten these things to work for jet pilots, but this would be the first time for a heads up display with troops on the ground. US Army Lieutenant Colonel Brad Wynn explains exactly what we can expect from this piece of equipment. IBAS enhances every aspect of soldier lethality. It improves and increases the soldier's situational awareness. It can build training scenarios with 3D holographic enemy that can fight back and high behind cover. The IBAS includes a puck, batteries, battery charger, a data radio for every soldier, and a tactile cloud package per company. Perfect, all I heard was we have like five new pieces of sensitive items that we have to worry about. So now we're all gonna be doing push-ups until PFC Carl finally stops losing his goggles that cost more than his weapon. It blows the old night vision capabilities out of the water. One of the biggest problems with the old night vision was how small your field of view was. The IVAS can see night vision and thermal vision at 80 degrees by 40 degrees field of view with both eyes open. Before we learn more about the Army's future IVAS project, I wanna tell you about our partner, Keeps. As you know, one of the qualifications of being special forces is having luscious locks of hair. Now that I have special forces qualified hair, all I need to do is get good at physical fitness and marksmanship and I'll be good to go. They're a very effective hair loss product that's offering 50% off your first order through our link. Two out of three guys experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. We all know the 36 year old bald first sergeant. It's really easy to get the medication today. Keeps delivers it straight to your home, so there's no more awkward doctor visits or waiting in line at the pharmacy. Keeps usually takes between four to six months to start working, so it's important to move quickly on this. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash task and purpose or click the link in the description to receive 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash task and purpose. Another problem we ran into overseas was the language barrier. Believe it or not, Arabic is really hard to learn, but the IVAS fixes that by recognizing that you're looking at text in a different language. Then it translates the text to English, which will make asking the corrupt Iraqi police officer on your base for bootleg DVDs and hashish much easier. Here's how it works. You pop on the headset goggles and the high-tech hollow screen displays important information like GPS waypoints for accurately moving to a location. The operator will now have a reticle in their field of view that shows where their weapon is pointing. So your heads up display is connected directly to your sight picture for rapid target acquisition and even shoot around corners. One thing is for sure. I have no doubt that the nerd in every platoon will hack the IVAS and have it running Skyrim before first formation. A lot of military analysts think the future of war will be all about drones and robots, but I think the IVAS shows us where the real future of the infantry is going to be. Augmented human infantry is the future of war because it takes a highly trained and mobile soldier and it makes soldiers better at problem solving because if a vehicle goes down, they can pull up information on how to fix it. And if someone gets hurt, they can pull up a nine line medevac instantly. Let's put this thing to the test and see if I'm able to navigate my own apartment using the IVAS. I'm gonna shoot around the corner and mark the enemy location. <laughs> And never mind, I've started binge watching Million Dollar Listing on Netflix. They plan to deploy with the IVAS in the hands of rank and file soldiers by as early as next year in 2021. It's going to be as intuitive to operate as your smartphone. The IVAS will monitor a soldier's health through their pulse and body temperature. Then it can send that data to a combat medic in case they need to treat a casualty. 
I knew guys in my old unit who could barely operate a PlayStation 3, let alone a complicated high-tech goggles fire control system. Okay, fine, I was that guy. It will take the regular forces that are involved in close combat that have historically taken most of the casualties, then how do we display network information in such a way that it doesn't overwhelm the soldier, but tells him where he needs to go, where his buddies are, and where the enemy is. There are definitely legitimate concerns from Congress and the Pentagon about how heavy this thing is and how much it obstructs your natural field of view. Prior versions even failed to work in rain, which would ruin everyone's favorite military catchphrase. If it ain't raining, we ain't training. <laughs> oh, my heads up display's not working. The IVAS will place digital objects directly over your field of view, so when you're looking through the HoloLens, you'll see maps and icons placed on top of the real world. Cameras attached to the headset recognize your surroundings and place these icons in the correct spot. Knowing where friendly and enemy elements are located would allow for new tactics and new strategies to be used on the battlefield, which were too dangerous to pull off in the past because of the risk of friendly fire. Everyone who's tested out the IVAS says it's very similar to the heads-up display that are already in first-person shooter video games. You have a 360-degree compass overlaid on your field of view. That being said, every first lieutenant will still find a way to get lost on land nav. Since the 1980s, the military has been riding the struggle bus in their attempts to connect the individual infantrymen to the benefits of the world's technological advances over the last few decades. All these efforts have been half failed attempts so far, and the costs of those programs have added up to over $32 billion. But why have all these attempts in the past failed? This one is completely different. In this case, we started looking at how does industry make a product? We did soldier-oriented studies where they came in and talked to researchers to explain what their job really is. How do you close with and destroy the enemy? What they're talking about is the DOD's new soldier touch points way of developing new technologies for the infantry. So now this new equipment is made by soldiers for soldiers. To date, we have collected over 20,000 hours of soldier testing and feedback captured in more than 25 soldier test events using nearly a thousand soldier marines and special operators. As of right now, you can no longer get a cheek to stock weld to aim your weapon. The new system has the soldiers holding the rifle under their arm and looking at the reticle on the screen. They kind of shoot from the hip like Rambo. This is probably similar to when soldiers had to make the switch from learning how to aim with the bow and arrow to learning how to aim with gunpowder iron sights. So we all know the phrase, train like you fight. Well, the IVAS will give new meaning to that because one of its biggest features is its ability to help virtually train troops. Using the synthetic training environment, you can build a combat scenario against 3D holographic enemies that can fight back and hide behind cover. Impressive, sweet. When I was in the army, our training had us using our imagination to create notional bad guys, and we yelled bang bang or budget cuts at them. In the past, I've been skeptical of heads up displays. In the best of conditions, they tend to get in the way and you just want to rip them off so you can finally see clearly. The eye vest looks like it's almost not annoying to be on your head. Okay, so Microsoft won the $480 million bid to develop the IVAS. They beat out Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. To no one's surprise, the Microsoft developers complained about the military using their invention. They were upset something that they created was being used by the big bad military. Under Secretary of the Army, Ryan McCarthy, had this to say to them, quote, I appreciate their concerns, but these are the same men and women that are protecting their freedoms so they can develop this technology." End quote. Night vision goggles and radios are the two main changes since all the way back to World War I. Militaries around the world are racing to develop a useful heads-up display for their infantry. It's like watching the first clunky prototypes of tanks being developed. So I look forward to seeing if the next generation of soldiers are up to the challenge of making these new tools work. Let me know what you think would be a useful addition to the IVAS in the comments section, because the best ideas always come from the comments section, and I always try to read everything you guys write.